This is the volume button. When you are not in a call, you can press this up and down and adjust the volume of your ringer. When you are in a call, you can adjust these buttons to adjust the volume of your call. This is the mute button. Of course, when you're in a call, that will cancel out your mic so you can be on mute. This is the voicemail button. This is the transfer button. This pause button is the hold button. And this is the speaker button. You can use this to answer a call or switch a call from the handset to the speaker. To make an outgoing call, Enter the 10-digit number you wish to call, then press dial. Thank you for calling Tri Lakes Net. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For business services like fiber and... To end the call, internet, press end call or, solutions, or press the IT speaker support. button or you can hang up the handset. Support with legacy. To answer a call, simply press answer or lift the handset. To transfer a call, hit the transfer button. Then dial the extension of the person you wish to transfer the call to. Then hit the transfer button. You have successfully transferred a call. To place a call on hold, answer your call. Then hit the hold button. At this point, the call is on hold. Once you're ready to talk to your caller again, you would retrieve the call from hold by hitting the resume button. At this point, your caller is back live on your phone. Hold cannot be used to transfer a call to another user on the phone system. That is where you would use the call transfer feature or the call park feature. First, answer your call. Now, to park your call, press more, and then park, Seven, then one. exit, then transfer. At this point, your caller appears to be on hold and is hearing on hold music from any of the other phones on in your building or on the phone system to retrieve the call they would hit this parking button and you will see your caller listed in this part calls list to retrieve that call you just select them and then you hit the answer button to access your voicemail Hit this little envelope button. Password. Enter your password and then followed by the pound symbol. You have one new message. Press one for new messages. Press two to change folder. Of course. Press three for advanced options. Hit option Press one. Zero for mailbox options. Hit option one Press to play your message. For help. First message. Hello, leaving you a test voicemail. Hope you're having a great day. Goodbye. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 5 to repeat the current message. Press 7 to delete this message. We're going to press 7. Press 8 to forward the message deleted. No more messages. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 5 to repeat the current message. You can end press the call when you're done checking your voicemail. 
One thing you may want to do is set your name or your unavailable announcement. So to do that, you would log into the mailbox. Password. You have no messages. Press 2 to change folder. We're going to want to hit 0. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 0 for mailbox options. Press 1 to record your unavailable message. Press 2 to record. After the tone, say your unavailable message and then press the pound key. Hello, you've reached the voicemail for Mark Riss. Please leave a message after the tone and I will call you back as soon as possible. Thank you. Press 1 to accept this recording. Your message has been saved. Press 1 to record your... You can end call there. And now whenever somebody calls and leaves you a message, they'll hear your voice rather than hearing just your extension number.